What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Here's the context behind today's video. So you're a junior developer, you've been working for a little while at your job, and you're starting to get better, and you're wondering, how do I now move up to a mid-level or even a senior level developer position? What do I have to learn? What kind of traits do I have to exhibit? Like, what do I have to do to become a mid-level or senior level developer. So I'm gonna try to answer that question for you today. But before I do that, I have three things I want to mention that I think are important things to consider when pursuing this career advancement. And I think you'll find them interesting. So stay tuned. All right, so before we get started, if you're into web development, coding, learning to code, any of that stuff, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Lots of great videos planned for 2020. So like I said, before I get to how I think one achieves the mid to senior level position, let me give three quick qualifications that I think you'll find helpful. Number one, why do you wanna be a mid to senior level developer? Now this isn't meant to be kind of a thought experiment, like are you sure you wanna be one? My thing is why do you want to give up the joys of being a junior developer for a mid to senior level developer. The only reason I can think of is money. You get paid more as a senior developer, of course. But in my experience, junior level developers make pretty good money too. I think here in America, the average is around 60,000 and it's probably more than you were making at your last job. So there may be a money influence, like I wanna make more money, so I wanna move into a higher level position. But aside from that, what exactly are the perks of being a senior level developer? And let me explain what I mean by this. So you learn to code, you love to code, you don't really like meetings, and you don't really like all this theory. You're probably at a level where you're like, just assign me something to build, and let me sit down and code it. That's what I wanna do at my job. Well, that's what junior developers do. As a senior developer, of course, you still code and stuff, but you're in a lot of meetings, you're in a lot of high-level architectural discussions, and what they do is they take projects, they scope them out, and they break them into parts, and they hand those parts to junior-level developers to build and to code. So where I'm going with this is being a junior-level developer is not a bad thing. Like, actually, that may be exactly where you wanna be and exactly what you wanna be doing, coding. So if money's not an influence, ask yourself why. Is it just a status thing? Is it being able to put that beside or before your title? But just think about that, because being a junior developer is exactly where a lot of people wanna be and where a lot of people would find themselves happiest. Now, of course, you can't stay there forever. You can't be like a, a 10 year developer. I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm still a junior. That's probably a problem. But the junior level developer is the training ground. That's where you learn all the stuff. That's where you become good. That's where you get challenged. That's the boot camp. So in my opinion, the first couple of years as a developer, that's exactly where you wanna be. So why do you wanna move up? Do you really want those responsibilities or do you want the fun that a junior level developer gets to have? So that's number one. All right, number two is you can't give yourself this label. Someone else has to give it to you. You can't one day declare yourself a senior level developer. Somebody has to see it in you. They have to see you taking the lead. They have to see you becoming more mature and assigning that title to you. So that should say a lot in itself. That means you have to exhibit certain traits, certain habits, in maturity in order to be that. You can't just be like, hey, I'm a senior. Hey, I'm a mid. I mean, once people see that in you, then you can put that by your name. But it's not a label you can give yourself. That's number two. Number three, and this one might be a little opinionated, but in my opinion, you can't learn to be a senior developer. And what I mean by that is you can't take this Udemy course and then you're a senior developer. Like, hey, check these boxes off, finish this curriculum, and we'll hand you that title. You can't do that. Here's why. Um, I actually found a course on Udemy that I was really close to taking, and it's called something like Become a Mid-Level or Become a Senior Level Developer, something like that. And what it does is it runs you through tons and tons of topics and concepts um, from development to databases to DevOps, all of these things. You just hit these briefly, and then when you're done, supposedly you know enough to where you can be considered mid to senior level. Well, I looked at it and I'm thinking, okay, so I know a little bit about a lot. That's not very helpful. And also the saying is always true, what you don't use, you lose. 
So by the time you get to the end of that course, you're going to have forgotten the things you used at the beginning of that course. So where I'm going with this whole thing is there isn't a curriculum you can follow. And when you finish, you now become senior level. You cannot teach yourself into senior level development. So those are my three things I wanted to qualify before I get into how I think you can become one. So what then does make you a mid to senior level developer? How do you become one? Well, of course, this is a highly debated topic, but here's my opinion. The only thing that will make you a mid to senior level developer is time, time. It's being year after year, project after project, learning and developing the skill that's needed to be a mid to senior level developer. So you've been on this project, you worked through it, you made mistakes, you moved on to the next project. And over time, over a couple of years, you've matured, you've led projects, you've taught other developers things that, and helped them when they're struggling. It's time. It's slowly maturing as a developer. Now, I know a lot of people say it's how much you know. It's when you know a lot of languages and can work in a lot of environments. I find that completely false because the senior developers I've worked with are actually quick to tell you they have no experience in something. It's only the junior developers that are really prideful and they know everything and they think they can do everything. The senior level developers will be like, hey, this next project is in Golang. Does anybody have experience in Golang? I mean, even pointing at the new guy, does anybody have experience in Golang? Because I have no clue. So in my experience, knowing all of the languages and being able to jump around with that kind of knowledge doesn't make you one. But again, it's over time developing the knowledge of core concepts of coding, being able to relay those concepts to other developers and managers and stakeholders, being able to break up work and lead a project and being able to find solutions when other developers around you can't. Also, they know documentation. They know how to read documentation. So you don't have to know all the languages. You got to know concepts. If you know concepts and you know how to read documentation, you can do anything. So just a side note, if you want to be a mid-level, senior level developer, learn to read documentation because they all do. So all of that is to say, and to combine everything I've put together in this video, don't try to rush out of your junior level position. Don't be like, ah, I just want to be mid so bad. The junior level developer is the training ground. That's where you're going to develop that maturity to become a mid to senior level over time. Don't try to jump that hurdle. Be content in that junior level position. Learn as much as you can. Help others around you. And I think after a few years, people will start to see that, right? They'll see you taking a little bit of a lead, helping others around you. Like people are struggling. You can step over and help them out. You'll start speaking up more in your standups. You'll start offering more value to the discussions. And what happens is people start to see this. And that goes back to point two that I made. They start to see that and they start to think of you as a mid to senior level developer. So again, other people see that in you, you develop the traits over time. And then your managers or your coworkers will say, hey, he's more mid to senior level. And then when you come around to your yearly review or whatever, your boss may be discussing that with you. So that, again, that's my opinion. It's highly controversial. I'd love to know what you think makes a mid to senior level developer or how you transitioned into that position yourself. So leave a comment below if that's you. If you got anything to say, love to hear it. And I will see you in the next video.